Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Wargroove! So, I just returned triumphantly from my first online multiplayer PvP match. I went into the matchmaking lobby, and I just pressed a quick match, just to see what it's like to play this game online versus other players, and... Oh, it was so much fun! Oh, I beat the crap out of some poor scrub! It was the most fun I've had in years! Oh my god, this game is... So much fun to play multiplayer, and I cannot wait to stream it with you guys and actually play online matches versus my viewers. It's gonna be so much fun, guys. But for now, let us continue on our campaign journey. We still have uh, the difficulty set to about 120%. I feel pretty comfortable with that difficulty at the moment. I feel like this game is giving me a pretty good challenge so far. Beyond the border, the party escapes to the gloom woods only to face fresh dangers. Um, <clears throat> oh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog right here. We don't mean you any harm, Florin. We just need to cross your lands. Oh, so these are the wood hippies. Crossing through the gloom woods is a dangerous choice. These are Florin lands. This is where we live. This is where we hunt. Humans do not come here. The Cherry Stone Kingdom negotiated the right to save passage generations ago. I know we don't use it very often, but we need it now. We have no choice. Where the little lady seeks passage, said seeks sustenance. <laughs> Do you threaten the Queen of Cherry Stone? <laughs> Queen, silly titles do not impress Zedge. Whatever you call yourselves, you're still just meat and bone. Sedge will eat the old man first, and the little lady for seconds. Uh, stand down, stranger, or be cut down. Okay, we have to fight against the woodland hippies. Oh, wait, is this a pre deployed map? It is. And fog of war! <laughs> this forest is so dense, and the fog so. Back! We must press on. Yes. We should use the battle pups to scout ahead. Pups inflict critical hits when another pup is adjacent to the, their target. More importantly, they can see furthest through the fog. We should send one of them. Okay, so battle pups are recons. Nice. Up this mountain. Being atop a mountain extends the sight range of your unit, so this is a good position from which to spot hidden enemies. Very well. Let's move forward carefully. It seems like you can't hide in woods anymore in the fog. Because you can see, we can see this forest tile right here, for example. Alright, let's see what we can see. Woo! I like this fog of war, actually. There, hidden among the trees. Florian soldiers lying in wait. Now that we can see them, they've lost the element of surprise. Alright, let's go get them. So, from what I understand, every single faction has the same units, I think. Um, they just look different. So, for example, the Florence, these are just regular swordsmen, but they might be better in the woods? I don't know. That, it would sound logical to me that the Florence would be better in forests, but I don't know. So I just played a, a multiplayer game with this guy, and his power is really funny. He, he, he creates a crystal that uh, is actually a unit on the battlefield, and everyone who, who's inside the range of this crystal, I think they get 20% more defense. He's actually really good. Um... He's pretty good at fighting too, although I think most heroes, I might be wrong, but I think most heroes are about as strong. Do the trick. But as you can see, he's pretty darn good. Right, so also heroes are pretty good at capturing buildings, so I'm just gonna go do that right now. This should be advantageous. It should be advantageous. I am smart old man. <laughs> So yeah, and Battle Pups are pretty darn good against infantry, because they essentially work as recons from Advanced Wars. <laughs> they're so cute! Alright, so... we can shoot... I think I'm actually... yeah, Rangers cannot actually attack in melee. Which I like, actually. It's really good. Rangers, I j in the multiplayer match that I played, the guy that I was playing against, he, he fielded a lot of indirect units, which... It was kind of nasty at first, but it's sort of a pitfall, because um, if you field too many indirect units, you're just going to lose the capture game, and that's exactly what happened to him. And in the end, I just rushed down his commander and killed him. He built trebuchets, apparently. They're like rockets. They can't move and shoot, but they're really good at taking down buildings. 
So he built like a trebuchet really early and it really fucked him over because he just couldn't keep up with the capture game. Also, one thing that I notice is that infantry are a lot better against battle pops than infantry are against recons in Advanced Wars. In, in Advanced Wars, you attack recons with infantry, you're just gonna die straight up. But here, if infantry get the first strike, then it seems like they do pretty well, honestly. Okay, so this should be a critical hit. Because there's another battle pop. Yeah, there we go. Also, we should probably reinforce. Man, I love the reinforce mechanics so much. It's great. Alright, I'm gonna go capture this one. Oh, you can actually hold in the mouse button to move faster. Wait a minute, is there a way to have that always be on? Options. Uh, general, let's see. Sound accessibility. Hmm. Oh, you can actually... Oh, interesting. You can actually change the UI. I like that. So apparently you cannot... I do wonder if health bars... Yeah, maybe I... Uh, do I like health bars more? I don't think I do. I think I prefer to see the numbers, honestly. Yeah, the numbers are probably better. So can pup capture buildings? No, they cannot. Makes sense, honestly. Let's uh, move up into the mountains. So what's also kind of funny about recons is that recons in this game can move in mountains. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I actually really like pre-deployed maps, especially when you have the ability to instantly heal as quickly as you can in this game. Oh, okay. This could hurt a little bit. Oof. Okay. Gotta go back to the village and reinforce. Oh, hi there. Well, you're gonna fucking die. Don't don't mess with old crystal man. I have a spell for this. Lightning bolt. And I will also say that I really like the dynamic of heroes in multiplayer battles because even if you are about to win, what I love about multiplayer battles is that you can always try to rush the enemy commander down. And if the enemy gets overconfident and overextend, which actually happened in my first match, he just rushed in with his hero, I just sent two knights and some rangers and I just gunned him down. So you gotta be super careful, which I actually really like. Okay, so I think we're gonna use our battle pup right here. I'm still a little bit, like, the controllers are still a little bit annoying. I still wish you could just instantly skip, but oh well. Alright, let's reinforce. It seems like it's pretty cheap to reinforce, but again, it does cost building hit points. Uh, let us not move. If we don't move, I'm pretty sure we one-shot these guys. Also, so far, I haven't noticed any element of luck to this game. That doesn't mean it's not there. But I certainly hope there's no element of luck, because one of the things that always annoyed me in Advanced Wars was that there's about a 10% luck modifier to your attacks. Which sucks, to be honest, because... I don't like randomness in my Advanced Wars games. That's why I don't like playing Flak, right? And yes, that's pretty rich coming from me, I know. Manx doesn't like randomness, yes, he plays Fire Emblem. Alright, let's keep going. So we have a base right here, we can probably capture that with our hero. Bases, or strongholds as I think they're called here, are really hard to take uh, when the enemy has them. I sent two infantry to try and cap an enemy. <laughs> Interesting maneuver. Happening upon these old barracks is most fortunate for us. We should use this opportunity to bolster our ranks before crossing the river. Alright, you can't... It seems like you can't recruit something from a barrack the same turn you uh, capture it. Which I think is fine, honestly. Alright, reinforce. There we go. Man, the dynamic of, like, leeching hit points from your buildings is so good. Because it means that your building hit points are essentially treated as resources. And it means that it, there, you have a lot of incentives to try and keep your units alive so you can send them back for repairs, since it's very cost-effective effect to do so. Alright, I'ma send my pup into the mountain and see what I can... Actually, no, I cannot. I can send them this way, though. Doesn't seem like we have anything over here. I'm gonna send, uh, what is this guy's name again? Emmerich. I'm gonna send him to capture this village. And then, uh, what should we build? Seems like there's sort of a lock on what you can build. I think I'm just gonna grab myself an... Oh, no, I can't. I'm gonna grab myself a ranger. And let's capture this one. 
You can also, what's kind of funny that I noticed in multiplayer battles is that you can skip the enemies' animations, which I think is honestly really cool. So it's like, no, nope, sorry, I don't want to listen to this shit, or I don't want to watch this shit. I could just cancel his animations. There's also a timer, so you can prevent people from taking for fucking ever. Oh, hi. Didn't realize you were there. Spearmen are also really effective against knights. Like, they hard counter knights. Kind of like how mechs counter tanks in Advanced Wars. So, like, in the metagame in Advanced Wars and Wargroove, they're very similar. Like, my knowledge of Advanced Wars helped me so much in my multiplayer match. Even though the game works very differently, the elements are still the same. Alright, let's uh, send our battle pups into the mountains, see what we can see. Can't see anything so far. But yeah, it seems like you cannot hide in the woods in Fog of War, which... I mean, I guess I'm not opposed to it. It could make the multiplayer game more interesting, honestly, because in Advanced Wars... Hiding in forests all the time... It does sort of slow down the game a lot, because you gotta constantly scout. Now, in Days of Ruin, you do have the flares, which are pretty good. Let's just reinforce. Uh, Alright, so we have 200. Let's just grab another Battle Pup. Okay, so... The oh, wow, reinforcements. You actually get to see reinforcements on the fog. Are you scared yet? You should be! Okay, man. I get it. You don't like humans. Hmm. They're taking our villages. No! It's okay, though. It's still standing. Also, I really like how you can damage the enemy's buildings to prevent their healing. That is really cool. Oh, hi there. We got some knights. Okay, they're ambushing us from all sides now. There's movement to the north and the south. It may be wise to put some battle pups on the nearby mountains. Sure. Let's see what we can see. I'm gonna just keep my pikemen here. Um, maybe I'll move even this battle pup down here. And then we got 400. Eh, let's just grab another battle pup. They're pretty good. Can this battle pup just... Yeah, this battle pup actually kills this guy in one shot. That's great. Again, the, the addition of reinforcements on the map really spices up what they can do with the map design. It also means enemies can come from out of nowhere, which some people may not always like. Alright, let's go get the village. Now, we got a knight incoming. Um, oh wait, no, we can't enter this mountain, sadly, but we can... We can almost wipe this guy out, but I think it would probably be more advantageous if our battle pups didn't die. So maybe we'll just check, check the range of this guy. We'll move our ranger up here. What's this? It's a pillar? Okay. Alright, we're gonna be attacked from the south, so I'm gonna keep some units to protect my villages. Although, I guess... What is the... Oh, shit. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. My bad. I didn't realize you could move all the way down there. Oh, wow. They just one-shot rangers. Holy shit. And they have rangers, too. That sucks. Oh, my God. I got my ass handed to me here. Okay. I definitely overextended. Way too much. I need my hero over here. Okay, here they come. So, I gotta be careful here. Gotta send my battle pups down to intercept that village from being taken. And... I think... We'll just do this. I wanna keep my battle pup here, honestly. Or maybe I'll keep him here. Just so I can see more into the woods. Okay, well that was, uh... That was pretty goddamn scary, honestly. I love how they're riding freaking bisons or whatnot. That is actually adorable. Okay. 80 damage, 72 damage. Okay, yeah, they're really bad against knights, apparently. Like, really bad. Alright, can this guy move into the mountains? He cannot yet. Alright, I gotta be careful here. Unless I'm gonna lose all my units. 
So I really like it. Knights are really good against rangers. Battle pups are good against infantry. Spearmen are good against knights. There's a lot of hard counters here, which I really like. Um, maybe we should just get a knight of our own. So if I hold in my mouse button, will things move faster? Yeah, it will actually. Okay. A little bit too fast almost. Can we not get like a middle ground here? Holy shit, that is really fast. Okay, so they took our village. But they spent a lot of units trying to do so. Oh, will I lose my battle pup now? No. Oh, I like how they just run away. That's cute. You don't actually get to see dogs die in this game. That's so sweet. You don't actually get to see anyone die. They just sort of like vanish. Okay, let's see if we can kill their knight. They didn't have that much stuff, honestly. There was like one ranger, one infantry. Let's see, and uh, now we can uh, kill their knights. There is, oh my god, what's that? I think that's their battle pups. So yeah, as I said, I don't think each faction has different units, they just look differently. So you got, uh, yeah, they're just called dogs. They just look different. All right, this guy is trying to attack us from the side. Let's show him what happens when they mess with old crystal man. Don't fuck with Crystal Man, dude. Just don't. Alright, so now we can go and uh, whack those guys. We do need some infantry to take the building, though. We do have our rangers, but I prefer to attack with those. Let's see. Uh, what if we just get a regular swordsman for now? I think a regular swordsman works out just fine. And then we got a... Uh, I want to take the village back. So, if there's just sort of like a capture versus capture, capture battle going on, it's actually really hard because you need to first kill a building and then you need to capture it. Which I honestly think is really cool. Rough. Oh shit, that lo I lost sight of the other guy now. That kind of sucks. But it's okay though, because I got my battle pups here. Rough. But I gotta be careful, or else they're gonna take my villages. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oof! Oh my god, rangers are so good against knights. Holy shit! Ay 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 ay! Okay. My village is taking some heavy fire now. I wonder if I can save it. Okay, here comes there. Oh my god, that's so fucking adorable! Oh wow! What a holy shit! This is like battlecopters versus battlecopters. Oh my god! Okay, so I clearly, I think I'm stretching myself a little bit too thinly. I I should have listened to, to the advice, honestly. Okay. So, if I'm not careful, they're gonna take my village. Emmerich, your groove is ready. Yes. Indeed, this old man still has a few tricks up his sleeve. What does it do? I'm able to conjure up a gem known as a cherry stone, a powerful protective object. Its aura provides a dramatic defense bonus for our units. What? Wow. So yeah, it's really good, but of course, my, my guy is really out of position right now, so I am going to send him back. Or maybe I'll just send him this way, honestly. No, I'm gonna send him. So you can't summon it in fog, okay? That's, that's interesting. Okay, so we need to send some units down here. Oh, you move faster on road. That's so cool. I love it. Hopefully, I can prevent these guys from killing my village. Oh, I could have reinforced, actually. Never mind. Okay, so there, there seems to be a small element of luck here, actually. I just realized. I wasn't supposed to kill that guy, but I did for some reason, so... There might be a small 10% luck modifier to this game, similar to Advanced Wars. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it, but... I mean, what can you do? So, can you... You can reinforce from a barracks, that's good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna move back for now. And then we should probably just get some more pikemen up. Pikemen are like mechs. They're really cost-effective, but they're slow as balls. Oh, hi. What are you gonna do? This should do the Gotta be careful, though. It's I'm pretty sure it's game over if old man... Oh, wow. He just murdered those guys. Or he sent them away, I should rather say. 
I don't know why the enemy did that. That doesn't seem like a very cost-effective engagement. Okay, come on, kill him. I don't think my villagers are gonna die. I think we'll be fine here. Okay, so I really I'm gonna plunk down a gem now. This should protect us. So this is a really cool mechanic, honestly. So I think they can attack it? Either that or they lose um it loses health every turn, that much I know. I think it gives them 20% defense or something. I'm noticing actually they got uh, they got four defense in the forests. Oh no, this is like thick wood, I think. Forests. Forests are slow going, but but provides. Uh, I think so. Yeah, you can see I get one extra defense in the forests. Yeah, look at that. Wow, three defense. Yeah, holy shit. Does it just set defense to three? I think that's what it does. I like crystals within the crystal sword. Uh, all, all units within the crystals era enjoy increased defense. The crystal's health depletes over time. Yeah, it just provides three defense to everyone inside the field. So that that's that's how it works. Okay, that's honestly really cool. All right, so I think we should be able to knock these fuckers the fuck back. I'm gonna keep this pikeman here just in case. There we go. But I'm going to be sending most of my other units up to help in the north, because it seems like they're mostly needed there. Excellent! It looks like that was the last of their rare ambush units. Now we can focus all our efforts on the Florin on the northern point. To win this battle, we must defeat their barracks or their commander. Okay. So, old man, old crystal man told me I could just charge ahead, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's build a wagon. I want a wagon. They're really fast in this game. Okay, so they just build something. Oh, here we go. Not my battle pups. So yeah, they just get... Uh, no wait, they don't just get tree defense. They get plus tree defense. Because the forest gives four. Or how does this even work? Does it give three defense, but it provides plus one defense if it's more than three? I don't know. Someone in the comment section explain to me how this power works. Because I really want to know. Lightning blast! I gotta say, their dogs look absolutely... Okay, they can be attacked. Yeah, that's what I thought. They die really quickly, too. Wonder if you can reinforce a crystal. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny to know, actually. Alright, kill these guys. Uh, we can do 57 damage here. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go capture this building. This should be advantageous. It should be advantageous. Ah, oh, look at look at how good knights are against dogs. Poor little doggo. All right, I'm gonna drop the infantry onto this mountain tile. I do wonder if wagons are gonna be good in multiplayer because sometimes, like, you can usually get away with building a couple of transports on very large maps. But uh, you gotta be very careful with overextending on transports and worse games because, again, it's all about cost efficiency. If you build a wagon, that's three infantry units you're not gonna have. Anyway, I'm gonna give myself a knight. But wagons look pretty good in this game, they really do. Alright. I have a spell for this. I wish whenever you held in your mouse button, the animations would just play faster, like in some of the fire- oh wow, okay. Please don't- no, I'm not gonna die here, am I? I gotta be careful though. I really love how your commander can just suddenly get rushed down. It really creates a, a dynamic that I really, really like. Oh no, my village. Ah, there's just two of them. I don't think they'll be able to take it, honestly. They might just die here. The AI doesn't seem very smart so far. It does a lot of really questionable things. Maybe it's set to be dumb or something? I don't know. Anyway, I definitely need to reinforce. I think I might need to retreat and reinforce, honestly. But I do have my crystals, so that should make things a little bit easier for me. Uh, let's just shoot them down. Yeah, let's just shoot them down. Down you go, little spearman. And then we got some rangers that I can probably one-shot with my knights. 
I really like how knights one-shot rangers, because it really means you have to be super careful about positioning them. Okay, um, let's send our wagon back. We can go pick up another pikeman, maybe. Again, pikemen usually are better when you have two of them. Or did I fuck up now? I think I may have fucked up. My bad. Alright, battle pup, show me what you can do. I also like how if you just have a single structure, it's gonna be really hard to heal up, because that structure only regains two hit points per turn. You really gotta take advantage of multiple buildings, which I really love. Alright. Go, battle pup, go! Okay, oh, actually, no, I can go this way. Because you move fast. It seems like all units get one extra move on roads. Or, yeah, it seems like they do. If they move all of their movement on the road. Uh, we already built a u building. Um, what unit have I not moved? Do I have, like, a bottle pop down here or something? No, I don't. I guess I'm just going to end my turn then. I think it considers my crystal a unit or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm dead. So the question is, what is the dog gonna do? Oh, it's gonna take down my building. RIP. I imagine dogs are not very good at taking buildings, though. Or attacking buildings. Okay, so... We can use our bottle pup to clear out this guy. It looks like that that's their barracks, and that's the leader, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm gonna use my pikeman to capture. So it seems like regardless of how good your unit is, you're always going to get your building at 5 hit points, which I honestly think is fine. Alright, can we shoot down this guy? We should be able to. Oh no, wait, I don't want to move into range, melee range with these rangers. Nah, let's just shoot down the doggies from a distance. Or, sorry, shoo away the doggies from a distance. There you go. That's such a nice, sweet thing they did, they've done there. I, re I think dog lovers really appreciate that. Look how fast wagons are, holy shit. I really like it, actually. Alright, so we got some infantry on the mountains there. Can we just kill them? They're kind of hard to kill. But we can attack them from our crystal zone, so... I think, honestly, that's a good idea. We'll attack with these guys first. Because they'll take less damage. And then we'll do this to wipe them out. Of course, this means we, I am placing my knights in range of one of the spearmen, but I honestly think we should be alright. Oh. No, that's, that's just the spearmen. Look how hard or look how much they counter knights. It's pretty crazy. They cost 1,500, whereas knights cost 6,000. Or, sorry, 600, I mean. Okay, yeah, there's the enemy command. Wow, he literally teleports behind you. What the hell? <laughs> He literally teleports behind you. Okay, it's time to see how much a wagon can take. Alright, okay, they're pretty robust. He literally teleports behind you, ladies and gentlemen. That's fucking hilarious. I love it. So yeah, commanders are really hard to kill in this game, but... You know, considering you beat the game when they die, I, I don't really have a problem with that, per se. And, uh, if you surround them with enough units, they will go down. <coughs> so it seems like you can actually have multiple crystals on the battlefield. Oh my god, teleports behind you. That looks so dumb. Oh wow, he does a lot of damage to the doggo. Let's just take down the pikemen instead, shall we? Rafa. You know... It wouldn't- I wouldn't mind if they counterattacked a little bit faster than what they currently do. Uh, I do want to see though, actually. I'd like to see how the overland map animations are. So let's go never and just see- see how they display. Wait, oh, you gotta actually attack here, so... Okay, that's simple. Let's take the long way around. Wow, I love how it goes through the fog. That's a really nice thing, honestly. Anyway, please stick to the roads. We can afford a knight. That's nice. 
All right, let's see if the enemy commander runs away. Okay, so, oh, okay. I, I, I sort of wish you got sort of like a health bar display or something. But I'm, oh, wow. That's so, that's, that's so cruel. What the hell? Oh, the crystals vanished. All right. Okay, very basic animations. I don't really mind, per se. I wish there was just like a little hit point bar, you know, kind of like in Fire Emblem. Okay, he's down to two health. We might actually be able to... Nah, we can't kill him yet. But at least these animations go by a hell of a lot faster. I think I preferred this way, honestly. But it can be a little bit disorienting because you don't always notice what's going on. Alright, we can just basically just churn out a knight per turn now. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, no. Yeah, because right now, I, I feel like I almost don't understand what's going on. Because everything happens so quickly. Anyway, let's kill the enemy commander with our commander. But first, I'd like to... Can someone just point out in the comment section if building units actually increase your score? There you go. Die, Edgelord. You think you can beat Sedge so easily? I do, actually. Huzzah! This isn't the end of the hunt. Sage will catch you. Sage will stalk you when you least expect it. Sage will pounce. Sage! There you are. Who are these strangers? We're... Invaders! Humans spent on destruction of the Gloomwoods. Sage caught them. Sage defeated them. Greenfinger need not worry, soon they will be dead. Huh? Greenfinger? The Florin King? What a liar. Alright, B rank! That was fun. I really like the old man, honestly. Okay, another mission goes by. Ooh, route splits! Oh, I love it! Route splits! How does this work? Do we. Alone in the woods, Caesar finds some villager in need of aid. Oh, that's so cool. With such defeated, Emmerich faces a new floor and tread. I love it. I love route splits. What a game this is, guys. What a game this is. We'll definitely do an episode a day. Okay, guys. Give this episode a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. And as always, I shall see you lovely fuckers next time. Bye-bye.